To mark the 200th anniversary of the founding of the town of Greece, the Greece Historical Society presents a bicentennial snapshot. Each week, we take a look at a particular aspect of Greece history. Today, we continue our look at cobblestone structures in Greece. The covert Brody Pollock House at 978 North Greece Road is a sterling example of cobblestone architecture. It was constructed in 1832 for William H. Covert, and except for the years 1840 to 1850, when it was owned by Amos Troll, was occupied by members of the Colvert family until 1892. This 1858 county map indicates that the home belonged to a J.B. Colvert, that is, Joshua Colvert, and this 1872 map shows William R. Colvert as the owner. The home's ownership passed through several other owners between 1892 and 1914, including Elmer Burlington, George Harris, who maintained a 125-acre stock farm surrounding it, George Emerson, who lost the house betting on a horse race, and Louis Zagata. The cobblestones for 978 North Greece Road were meticulously chosen. Only a few are round. The majority of them are oblong, ranging from 1.5 inches to 3 and 4.5 inches long. They are mostly brown, yellow, or gray, with very few rose-colored stones. The builder emphasized the horizontal in the rows and the coins, which are the masonry blocks at the corner of the walls. The cobblestones cover just the facade of the walls, which are 18 inches thick. The front facade features a wide frieze ban with four windows with decorative iron grills, cornice returns, windows with limestone lintels and sills, and a front entrance with a gable roof porch and door columns. The house at one time included a living room, dining room, bedrooms, a boarding room where mothers gave birth, a kitchen, and off the kitchen, a keeping room. A keeping room was usually the warmest room in the house being next to the kitchen and its heat source, whether a fireplace or a stove. While the cook prepared the meal, others would sit in the keeping room, close enough to talk to the people preparing a meal, but at the same time out of the cook's way. The keeping room also served as a boarding room when there wasn't a separate room for that purpose and was also frequently used as the last resting place for the dying. Recently, having a keeping room became a trend in new homes being built. In 1914, Walter and Catherine Brodzinski, whose name is horribly misspelled on this map, purchased the property. They changed their last name to Brody in the 1920s. After Walter's death in 1946, Catherine sold the house to their eldest daughter, Helen, who went by the name of Kay, and her first husband, Robert Zielinski. Kay acquired sole ownership of the house in 1959. Kay Brody lived in this house all her life, and with her second husband, William Pollock, was its loving caretaker. Many of the changes to the interior, including installing plumbing and mechanical upgrades and combining rooms, Kay did herself. It was always her desire to get the home listed on the National Register of Historic Places. That dream was realized in 1995. In October 1998, it became the first town of Greece designated landmark. According to the Landmark Society of Western New York, the Covert Brody Pollock House is architecturally significant as an outstanding example of an early 19th century Greek Revival cobblestone farmhouse retaining a high degree of integrity of design, materials, and craftsmanship. In contrast to the well-maintained beauty of the covert Brody Pollock home is this house located on West Ridge Road, not far from the West Greece intersection of Ridge and Manitow Roads. Known as the Westfall Mercier House, when it was evaluated by the Landmark Society in 1994, it was described as a lovely, charming cottage on a beautiful site. It is a fine representation of a federal-style farmhouse and may have been constructed as early as the 1830s, but no later than 1852. The earliest owner for whom there is documentation is a J. Westfall. He's named on an 1852 map. From the late 1940s to approximately 2000, the owner was Raymond W. Mercier. Margot and Ralph Graham owned the house for a brief interlude the years 1946 and 1947, approximately. She was an interesting woman. As a vaudeville performer, she toured all over Europe collecting antiques. 
she transitioned to being a cabaret singer before becoming the first female radio announcer in New York City. Her husband, Ralph, was the voice of the Hearst Metrotone newsreels that once were part of every movie showing. They came to this area taking radio jobs with WHEC. She was the first person to sing George Gershwin's Swanee. When she was working at a music store, the legendary composer came in and handed her the sheet music and asked her to sing it for him. That old cobblestone house was the perfect venue for setting up an antiques business. Although she didn't live in Greece very long, Margot became a staple appraiser of antiques for many of the Greece churches when they hosted antique shows, including Our Mother of Sorrows, Aldersgate Methodist, and Bethany Presbyterian churches. This, of course, was considerably before the time of eBay. Margot also raised toy Manchester Terriers on the property. Years later, the last owner of the home, Raymond Mercier, operated Catnap on the premises, boarding up to 30 felines at a time. Mercier died in 2001. Since then, the house has stood vacant. The 600-square-foot house sits in the middle of prime commercial property. The developer has tried his best to care for the house, but it has been subject to graffiti vandalism. He even offered it to anyone who would be willing to move it off the property, but there were no takers. So, for the time being, the fate of this little house is undecided. The cobblestone house on Mill Road was home to the Hartman and Foos family for decades. It, too, was built between 1830 and 1852. From at least 1852 until the early 1900s, members of the Hartman family resided there. The Foos family occupied it from 1927 until 2016. On August 11, 2016, this historic home caught fire. According to an account written by Jean Preston of the North Greece Fire Department, the firefighters worked in 94 degree temperature August 11 to save the pre-Civil War house. Said a neighbor, in no time the road and lawns were covered with fire hoses as seven engines, a rescue truck, and an aerial ladder strategically positioned themselves on Mill Road. The fire did significant damage to the structure. Firefighters had to deal with the fire and the extreme heat and humidity of the day. I took another walk through it before we firefighters left the scene, nearly three hours after we were dispatched. Hopefully it can be restored, but it has some serious issues. Unfortunately, it could not be saved. So now there are only three cobblestone homes left in the town of Greece. Thanks for joining us this week. Next week, we will take you on a virtual tour of some of the other notable homes in the town. This is Maureen Whalen inviting you to join us next Tuesday for another Bicentennial Snapshot presented by the Greece Historical Society. Want to learn more from the Greece Historical Society and Museum? Then click that subscribe button for more content and hit that bell icon to get notified when there's more Bicentennial Snapshots. You can visit us on the web at greasehistoricalsociety.org. You can find us on Facebook at Greece Historical Society. You can follow us on Twitter at Greece NY History. And you can stop in at the Greece Historical Society at 595 Long Pound Road.